Hey guys, happy Saturday to you. Welcome to the airing of Grievances. My name is Eric Raymer. We've had so many supportive comments from both consumers and industry representatives alike on, about this project that I've decided to reach out to you with a personal thank you. And on behalf of Rob and the entire team here at Nylons Collision Center, we are grateful for you viewing these videos. We appreciate everyone who's taken the time to not only give a big thumbs up to the videos that we produce, but to share them with others via the various social media outlets. This series is different than pretty much anything we've seen being produced by the collision industry. It's not intended to be a sales pitch for our collision center. It's not intended to specifically address others within our industry. The airing of grievances is intended to bring practical and potentially life-saving information to you the driving public, who may one day require the services of an industry where many things happen behind the scenes. There are many things that go on between the moment when you choose a body shop and the time your vehicle is delivered to you. And if you're not aware of the process, you may unknowingly compromise your safety and that of your loved ones by trusting a shop or insurance company who put their profits before your best interests. The insurance company always starts with the cheapest way to repair something. Is it criminal? Eh, I'm not sure about that. Unethical? Most definitely. It happens every day, and we have inspected hundreds of vehicles that were supposed to be repaired, but they were actually rushed through the process, cutting corners to make a buck, and with no genuine concern for your safety. As such, we encourage anyone and everyone who views these videos to share them with anyone else who drives a vehicle that has been to a body shop. If you've had an accident, regardless of where you take your vehicle, these videos will equip you with the knowledge of what questions to ask the shop, what to expect from your insurance company, and how to know who is really looking out for you versus those who are simply trying to line their pockets at your expense. We cover topics like how to know when to invoke the appraisal clause if you and your insurer have a disagreement about a repair plan for your vehicle. Are our aftermarket parts um, cheaper? They, yes, yes, they're cheaper, and in many, many cases, far more profitable for the shop. But they're not the right thing for, your, for you and your vehicle. This tip alone could save you thousands of dollars, and more importantly, it could mean the difference between a plan that tries to put aftermarket parts on your vehicle or repairing it the way the manufacturer designed it. We'll also educate you about how the insurance industry attempts to cut corners on what they're willing to pay, not to save you money, you've already paid premiums all your life, but to make a bigger profit margin for themselves. We'll tell you about the body shops that have actually partnered with the insurance companies to steer you to make more money, also for themselves, and why those partnerships severely limit your ability to stand up for the correct repair instead of the fastest one. We help you understand why faster is not necessarily better and why good enough is nowhere near good enough or safe enough. These videos will make you aware of the lipstick on the pig that sometimes happens in the collision industry and will also highlight and celebrate those body shops that are getting it right by putting you, the guest, first. You might not think you need to know about how energy travels through the structure of your vehicle when you're in an accident, but if you at least have a basic understanding of what happens, you will be wiser when your insurance company suggests that you don't need to have something fixed, when clearly you should. Again, this is all about your safety, and trust me when I tell you, your life and those of your loved ones could very well hang in the balance. When it's relevant, we will show you the equipment that we use in our industry to repair your vehicle. We do so in an effort to let you know what you should be looking for from any shop repairing your vehicle. If they don't have the right equipment, how can you possibly expect the right repair from them? And the fact that we are making this an important part of this series is testimony to the large number of body shops who are performing substandard repairs with improper equipment. We are producing the airing of grievances to educate you, the driving public. If your children are of driving age, they too should be made aware of the topics covered in this series. There are vehicles on the road today that were recently repaired by less than ethical body shops that neither Rob nor I would ever allow our children to drive because simply put, they are unsafe to be on the road. They might look like they've been repaired, but when you look a little closer at the welds, the untested and substandard aftermarket parts, 
the fatigued metal that has been pounded out instead of being replaced. You'll see a whole other world of cutting corners and assembly line production that is not in your best interest. It needs to be put back exactly the way the manufacturer wants it. We consider this project perhaps one of the most important things we've ever produced here at Nylon's Collision Center. Again, this isn't to convince you to bring your car to us for repair. This is information for every driver in every state of America. The more you know about how things work behind the curtain of the collision industry, the safer you and your family will be. So with all of that being said, I'd like to personally ask you to click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and grab the link and share this video with your friends and family across the social platforms. Help us help as many people as possible, and together we will make a lasting, positive difference in the lives of many. And there you have it, folks. It's the airing of grievances every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. in the Mountain Standard Time. Thanks so much for making it through this far in the video, and thank you for sharing it. We appreciate you so much, and we will see you next Saturday.